Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subject. In this video, we are going to discuss about how the lexical analyzer is recognizing the keyword and the identifier. Look at this transition diagram. We know that this transition diagram recognizes the key uh, identifiers. What is a regular expression for identifier? Any identifier should begin with the letter and further it might be followed by any number of letters or digits. So if a lexeme reaches this final state, it is recognized as an identifier. So this final state returns uh, the token value or the token ID of the particular token and the same lexeme is installed into the symbol table. It means it is pushed into the uh, symbol table. So there are two methods. One is get token, another one is install ID. This is pushing the lexeme into the symbol table and this get token gets the token ID of that particular token if it is already existing in the symbol table. Right. But there is a problem with this transition diagram. This transition diagram not only recognizes identifiers, it recognizes keywords also. For example, if we have the keywords like if, then, for, while, all these keywords can also be recognized by this transition diagram as an identifier because every keyword is consisting of a sequence of letters. So I and F can be recognized, then also can be recognized for while every keyword can be recognized by the transition diagram of an identifier and unfortunately these keywords might be recognized as identifiers. So what is the solution for that? There are two methods to handle the keywords that look like identifiers. There are two ways to handle the keywords that look like identifiers. So what is the method one? In the method one, this is a symbol table. We are going to install all the reserved words in the symbol table. And at the same time, we are going to mark those reserved words are not an ordinary identifier. Those are all keywords. For example, if, then, for, while, all the keywords are already inserted into the symbol table and uh, the information about those keywords are clearly mentioned. It is not an ordinary identifier. It is a keyword. It is a reserved word. This information is inserted. Right. Now, what is happening? Suppose lexical analyzer, imagine that it is coming across these lexemes. So first it is coming across the lexeme FOR and this FOR is recognized by this transition diagram. If it is recognized by this transition diagram, two actions are taken place. It is trying to install that FOR into the symbol table. If it is trying to install that FOR into the symbol table, but FOR is already there, what is the token type of that FOR? It is a keyword. Okay, now let us check for the next example. For underscore 12, it is an identifier. It is not a keyword. So now this lexeme is also recognized by the same transition diagram, isn't it? Because it is an identifier. Now it is trying to install that for underscore 1, 2 into the symbol table. When it tries to do this for underscore 1, 2 is not there. So it will be installed because it is already not there in the symbol table it is not a keyword so now it is entered into the symbol table as an identifier and this id will be written as an attribute value now let us come to the next example then then is also recognized by the transition diagram and then then is a keyword it is already installed into the symbol table when the lexical analyzer comes across this it will try to install since it is already there the token type of this then is keyword now okay now after some times let us uh, consider that this for underscore one two is has come across by the lexical analyzer one more time yes it will be trying to install this lexeme into the symbol table this is also already available because this was already read by the lexical analyzer and its token type is entered as ID. Now once again if the same lexeme is read by the lexical analyzer it would be returning the token type as ID. 
I hope you have understood. This is a method one. Very simple. The key point for this method is all the reserved words are already made available in the symbol table. If a keyword comes, it will be returning the token type as keyword. Otherwise, it will be returning it as an identifier. See, this is a key point of method one. Any identifier because this transition diagram recognizes the keyword as well as the identifier as identifier. Any identifier recognized by the transition diagram, if it is not in the symbol table during the lexical analysis, then certainly it cannot be a reserved word. It is tagged as identifier itself. So this is the key point for the method one. Now let us move on to the method two. Method two is a hypothetical method. It is actually not in practice. So what is the method two? It is asking us to create a separate transition diagram for every keyword like this. See for if we have created a, a transition diagram for then, for while, but for all these transition diagrams, there is one common start straight. And after every keyword, we are confirming that it is not followed by any digit. Because if it is followed by any digit, it becomes an identifier. So we are conducting a test after this if and then. It is not followed by any non-letter or digit. Okay, the key point of this method too is we have the necessity to check whether the keyword is completely ended and it is further not followed by any digit or non-letter. So that confirmation we have to do in the method too. Okay, now let us see one example. The next value, it is in fact an identifier, but what is a prefix? Prefix is a keyword. In this case, how to modify the model? Only option is, the next key point is, we have to prioritize the recognition of tokens keyword rather than the identifier, right? These are the two key points which we have to follow in method two. But anyhow, this is not implemented. It is not in practice. It is just a hypothetical method. So that's all about the recognition of keywords and identifiers. I hope you have understood the concept. Please subscribe to my channel. Comment if you have any doubt. And also share with your friends. Uh, thank you, students.